Hello, I'm Ireland Converse, Manager of Technical Support at Digital Check, and I'm going to talk to you about the TS240. This is a little high-speed, small footprint, large batch scanner. After you've connected your scanner, you can install the inkjet cartridge. So you'd remove it from the container, open up the center cover, and then go ahead and insert the cartridge, slight downward angle, and snap it into place. On the single line printer, you'll find that when the cartridge is properly installed, it's sitting at a slight downward angle. For the four line printer, you remove the center cover, release the blue tab, remove the cartridge from the container, insert it vertically down into the holder, and then snap the blue retainer in place. It's a very simple process. Connecting up the cables, you connect up the power cable first, then you connect up the USB cable. And what you'll find is there is no on-off switch, but we do have a reset button. And you'll see from the reset button, it's a momentary. You'll push it in and release it. That momentarily drops power to the scanner. And also remember, you have to keep the scanner about six inches away from an electromagnetic source, like a display or a fan assembly. The electromagnetic field around the fan or the display can disturb the MICR reading on the scanner and give you erratic reading rates. Uh, Energy Star on the TS240 is built into the motherboard. After a period of time, it will drop down into a standby mode where it's using less than a quarter of a watt of power. We have a single status LED light on the top cover, and it has a bunch of different color sequences. The standard sequence is red when it's in standby mode, green when it's been acquired by the application. When you've inserted an item into the entry pocket, it'll be turning amber. During a scanning cycle, it'll be flashing green. That's a normal condition. If you were to get a condition during the scan cycle that was an error, it will flash red. And then another option is a flashing red LED se uh, sequence would indicate that you have a service condition and it may require to get repaired. Well, now you're ready to insert your documents into the scanner. First, you want to prepare them properly. Check for dog-eared corners, bent, folded, etc. Straighten those out. Align the front and bottom edges of the checks. Insert them into the entry pocket about an inch back from the line, down to the base plate, and slide them forward. Also for the TS240, because we can handle up to 100 items, you may want to use a small jogger to help align the checks easier. I want to take a minute to talk about properly thresholded images. Our scanners do a very good job on taking an average image, dropping off the unnecessary background, and giving you clear bitonal black and white images. And this is important for car rates, as well as optical read engines that go after the images. We also have a feature within our API that the application can take advantage of. It's called special document handling. And special document handling can do special image thresholding, special MICR, special double feed, and special fraud and alert uh, notifications. Uh, if the scanner were to jam, you have a couple of options of how to remove it. One is if it's an eject button available on the application, that would run the motors to cycle the item through the path. The other option is if it's stuck in the path, you can simply remove the cover set, grab the item, and carefully work the item vertically out of the path. One of the more important items on the scanner besides document prep is proper cleaning and periodic cleaning. So about every five to 10,000 items, you're gonna to need to clean the rollers on the scanner. So you simply remove the cleaning card, start the motors using either our scan light or diagnostics application function, hold the uh, cleaning card into the entry pocket, wait about five seconds, let it scrub on the rollers, flip the card over, let it scrub again for about five seconds. Do that several times, and then you can allow the cleaning card to slide all the way through the path four to five times, flipping it each time. And this will have the effect of scrubbing off all of the paper, dust, and debris that builds up on the rollers. The other options for cleaning the scanner would be take a can of compressed air, start at the back after removing both covers, and blow toward the entry pocket and toward the exit pocket to blow all dirt and debris and dust out of the path. Also on the cartridge nozzle, over time you might have the cartridge nozzles start to dry up or drop out certain lines within the print. You can simply remove the cartridge, Take a damp paper towel, dampen with water, you do not want to use alcohol, and wipe horizontally across the nozzles and then replace the cartridge and you're good to go. So, at the end of the day, the best way to maintain proper performance on your scanner is proper document prep and proper maintenance on, this, on the scanner rollers. 
If you need more information on the TS240, we do have the user's manual available that you can download from our website.